Left turn ahead at the next stop sign. Okay. Proceed on Highway 2. We're in Dawson City in Yukon, Canada. We took a detour off the Alaskan Highway and took the Klondike Loop to Dawson City. It's located along the Yukon River. This is our cabin where we'll be staying for the next two days. Dawson City has a subarctic climate. The average temperature in July is 60.3 degrees, and the lowest is in January at 14.8 degrees. We happen to be here during a heat wave of 85 degrees. Coming from Arizona, we're used to the heat, but it still seemed pretty hot. You might notice the streets in Dawson City are all dirt. That's because the ground is permafrost, meaning that the ground is permanently frozen. The two houses pictured here are an example of what happens when you build a warm house directly on top of the ground here. It melted the permafrost and caused their foundations to shift, earning them the nickname of the kissing houses. These two houses will eventually cave in, but for now, they're one of Dawson's most popular tourist attractions. It seems like every building here has a story attached to it. That's one of the things that we loved about Dawson. This is a unique one. Their advertisement says, spoil yourself at Bombay Peggy's, the Yukon's only restored brothel. It's a pub in a hotel now. You might have heard of the show Yukon Gold. Dawson City is where it was filmed. The show Gold Rush also filmed a season here. Dawson is one of the only gold mining towns that's still currently mining. There's a ferry that runs 24 hours a day that takes you across the Yukon River. We'll need to take it on our way out to Alaska, but today we're going to do a run and see what's over there on the other side. Thank you. Bob found this hike to the paddle wheel graveyard. To get to it, we needed to drive through this campground. If you're interested in camping here, it's a really nice campground with some lakeside spots and some pull-throughs. Additional info, it has pit toilets, no hookups, and no drinking water.
today. Where are you taking us? Paddle, I don't know, wheel paddle graveyard. Okay. Paddle, paddle wheel graveyard, how's that? Okay. I think. We ran into our first problem. We, we ran into rambling blocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What can we do here? I'm following you. I don't know. What do you think? So we made it across the rocks there <laughs> on the, the path. So we're going to go to the graveyard and go check it out. So, so pretty though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And this is the Yukon River. You don't sound like you believe me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I looked it up. That's what it said on the map. There's so many rivers and lakes, I don't know. We found bear prints, but we've got company in front of us, so it looks like there's baby bears too. Yeah. We're coming up to the paddle wheel graveyard. There's three paddle wheel ships aground here and wrecked. This is a must see if you're visiting Dawson City. Very interesting site. Do you know and how old this is? I do not. And one of those looked like it was steam powered so I don't know if that means anything but here's here's the wreckage of three of them. And there's the first one here, and then to the west are two more. Ship one, ship two, and over here is ship three. The one down here is a steam one though, right? What's that? The one down here is steam, you said. Yeah, the, the boiler's right there. You can okay. see the boiler, and it would have pipes in the boiler there okay. to heat it up. We'll go down there and get uh, some video closer. Look at this. This is cool. These boats were abandoned when ground travel became more popular. Now these wrecks are tucked away in the grown-up shrubs on the shores of the Yukon River. This is absolutely amazing. That these have been here for so long. This is pretty awesome.
love with Dawson City. Every single street was lined with historic houses. If I could, I would wrap this place up and take it back to the States with us. By the time you see this video, we'll be on the road to Alaska. Take care. Bye. Thank you.